Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from my Steam Gamers, and welcome. So today we're back in the world of Medieval Engineers, and as you can see over there in the distance, we've got our Roleplay Village. Now the whole idea of this map was to actually create a sort of a realistic sort of area that could be used as like a, a roleplay sort of island where you could set up a big server and have multiple different tasks and different things and jobs and different things going on. That just makes it really exciting when you start to build this way and it's how that I started to build all this madness. So inside here we actually have the bandits hideout that is now officially finished and I'm going to release this world on the Steam Workshop. So we've got this and we've also got the village that is stored over there. There's going to be a castle and there's going to be a few different areas that I'm going to be adding to it. But let's actually go straight to the village because you've seen mostly around this place already. So over towards the village, I've located the main little village in the centre of the actual map. It's got some areas to actually be extended and added on. We've got a castle that's going to be going up on the other side over there. And we've got another small village. So hopefully this place will be like the perfect sort of role play scenario. This will be the main sort of trade hub as well as where people spawn and actually start out. I've started adding some of the buildings. And the first building, of course, we're going to have a look at is the inn. The bar, this is probably one of the most important buildings. You've, you can't really have any sort of village without a bar area. So I've just added some lights in here to actually just light up at night. And you see we've got most of the tables, we've got a few brews, we've got two bars in here. We've got this little bar, the private area, and we've also got the secondary bar that acts as a little cellar to keep all the wine and ale sort of cool down here. So you can see we've got some boxes, we've got some crates, and we've got just drums and drums of ale and liquor for our customers. And finally, we have the actual upper deck. So if I come into this room and go up the stairs here, where we have another private seating area, followed up by a little balcony that overlooks the trade outpost, and you get a little bit of a view of what's going on. Probably not somewhere you want to come up if you've had too much ale to drink. Anyway, let's head back outside, and we'll have a look at some of the other buildings. So across the road from the actual brewery, where the trading and all the different things happen, we've got the actual trade center. So the area where people will trade supplies, buy materials and different things so they can go off and build their own little houses and villages across the map. So this is the main sort of trade depot where you could exchange. So say a simple job in this village might be as a woodcutter. You go down to the village or go down to the forest, cut some wood, return back up to the trade center, maybe bring your cart with all your logs in the back, sell and trade your logs for either currency or other materials so you can actually build your own little house or apartment. Now these other two houses are empty at the moment, but then there'll be two more storage areas as well as a little bit of a, a shack where people can loiter when they're waiting for trade deals to actually go down. Underneath the trade house as well, we have a little bit of a trading cellar that leads into the actual back of the trade depot here. So the trader will be standing behind these tables, dishing out his supplies from the crates and so on. And when this gets a little bit further, more advanced, when we get some lockable doors. I'm gonna get a door down here because this will be like a major point for anyone to wanna break in to this village. So if we continue looking through the best of the village, we've got some simple huts that can be sold and given to different people. We've got some small ones, we've got some medium ones, and I've added them as little compounds. So this could be a compound that you could buy and then you could extend, build, and change the sort of houses in the area in the role play sort of village scenario. And then we've got kind of an upper, cl uh, upper class sort of apartment that's a little bit more land. And we've also got a larger house construction. Obviously you could extend this up and build it. These are just like the building blocks of my RP village. So people can take it to the next level level on the Rhone. So we've got another small one and then we're up to the um, players market as I like to call it. Now the idea of these is these are very similar to one that's actually on the workshop as a market stall. I saw the idea and I just thought wow that's absolutely beautiful. I wonder what I could actually do in that department. I'll have a link to them as well. But you can see we've got these nice little canvas huts that are made out of the windmill sort of blade. So a player could come up here, sell his merchandise to other players rather than selling it to the actual town retailer in the trading district that we've just seen. So we've got some different stalls, different sorts of display items. I'll just put these up for a temporary sort of notice. But just a really cool area of the town so players can actually trade with each other. So now we've actually took a look at the market in place. We have two more areas to have a look at. Now, one thing you may have noticed, we've had these watchtowers that are around the place. These are like um, sort of bandit watchtowers. We've got one overlooking the forest, and that's where the main bandit hiding center is. So if the guards can spot them people and then watch them around the village, it's going to make it a lot more safer. Watch the pickpockets and thieves. And finally, we have this area. This is going to be another shopping district for clothes and different things, but we'll have to see what the medieval engineers developers allow us to do for modding. I'm sure modders will introduce different outfits and different clothing for the actual player to wear. 
but until that happens this area is going to be a little bit bland anyway i'm going to leave this up on the workshop and i'm going to continue adding to it we've got castles to build over there i think we're going to go with two factions on this role play sort of map so we'll have two castles at either side of the village one over there in the distance and i think we've got a second village to add around this sort of peak area here and probably on the other side of that forest so it makes traveling between them a little bit more dangerous and exciting anyway i'd like to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time